everyone, I'm Jessica Ann. I'm here with Rebecca, aka Car Chick. Hi. And we're here at Girls Garage at the LA Auto Show. So Girls Garage is the first ever female focused space at the LA Auto Show, really dedicated to empowering women to work on their cars. And so I called Rebecca up and she was just a she was one of the only female mechanics in LA, and believe it or not, um, and I told her she had to come because we need to inspire other women to get under the hood of their cars and show them that it's really not that scary. So we'll be here all week doing demos. Um, we actually just did a test drive uh, with Volkswagen. We test drove their new fully electric Golf, and it was really fun. It was what did so you say? Fun. It was great. It was so responsive, and I feel like if, if you have a one a commuter car, it would be awesome for that. Yeah. The one thing that we were talking about with Carl, our gentleman from Volkswagen who was actually driving the car, was that you know it'll do 115 miles. Yeah. So. So that kind of, I mean, it's a great commuter car. First of all, I asked him. I have family in the Bay Area. I love to do the road trips. And I said, how would I get to the Bay Area with its range being, I think, 130 max miles? That's, um, on, that's on the newer one, the 2017 with the larger battery is yeah. 130 miles. And I believe this one is 115, uh, 115 miles. Yeah, yes. and so he said, well, you're going to have to rent a car for that. But it's great for commuting. But one thing, being in downtown LA, and it's the weekend, there was a lot of traffic. And so that raised uh, a good point that Rebecca brought up about brake pads. So, in LA, we're driving under extreme conditions. We are, we have so much traffic here, so many people will ask me at my shop, how long should I get on my brakes? How, how long will they, how many miles will it take before it wears out? And my answer is, it depends on your driving pattern. In LA, yeah. we have we use the brake a lot more, but if we were doing a road trip, we wouldn't apply the brake as much. So it's many more miles, so we have to know. If you're driving, say, for example, from Los Angeles over into the San Fernando Valley every day for work or vice versa, you'll probably go through brake pads more often. Right. The interesting thing about this Volkswagen though, or any uh, hybrid or electric vehicle, is that the way that the transmission works, you're not applying the brake as much. The transmission's actually stopping the vehicle. Yeah. So, yeah. I bet you those brakes will last a long, long time, probably two to three times as long as a normal yeah. gas Engine. Yeah, and that's something that actually I was really confused by, but he was explaining, to, explaining it to me because um, I've never had a lot of, an electric car, and actually I've never had a new car, so um, I had a lot of questions about servicing and warranty came up as well. That's something I'm not familiar with, having always bought used cars, never have a warranty. Yes. Um, so can we kind of educate people on what to look for? Exactly. So what the question that I asked him was, what is the full wrap warranty? Which means pretty much everything on the car, everything electrical, all the window switches, um, so many components on the car would be covered. And his answer was eight years. Uh, that, no, his answer actually was, how long, people normally ask how long the battery is under warranty because yeah. that battery is quite expensive. And he said eight years. So, but basically this is a fully electrical car. So the only thing that is probably going to go wrong with it are some electrical issues, you know, with the windows and things like that. Yeah. And the wipers and the brake pads. Yeah. And I want to investigate further. We'll get back to you and let <laughs> we'll you know. We'll get back to you. Know how long that might be before you would yeah. change the brake pad. Yeah. But in other cars, I would say, for example, some vehicles might have a three-year, 36,000-mile full wrap warranty, and then they'll have what's called a powertrain warranty. Now, powertrain warranty has to do with the engine and transmission, everything that's on the engine and transmission, uh -huh. drivetrain. Yeah. But would not cover window motors, regulators, um, yeah. fuel pump. Um, if you have a sunroof, those switches, everything in the dash. So that's, we really want to know that because the longer we have for the warranty, for example, Kia and Hyundai actually have a 100,000 mile warranty, right? But that's not the full wrap warranty. But most of them are three years, 36,000 miles for the full wrap, and then the powertrain has that 100,000 mile warranty. So when you're looking online to decide what you want to buy, you should look at both of those sides of that. Yeah. Awesome. And then there was something that you told me 
leave because we are driving in extreme conditions here. Um, so what is recommended in your owner's manual might not be what you should actually be paying attention to because it's actually less that you, you know, lesser miles to check the intervals of exactly. everything. So. so if your manual, your owner's manual says, for example, a 10,000 mile service. So it'll check mark to you what things that you should do during that initial 10,000 mile service. However, those are considered normal conditions. So if you don't do this when you drive, you're under severe conditions. If you drive 10 miles at 55 miles an hour without applying the brake, you're doing normal service. So I wonder <laughs> if we asked anybody here. Very, very questionable here in LA. Yes. So you can pretty much assume that you're under severe service. Yeah. You may have to go down to half of that. So let's say, for example, I want to take a 30,000 mile service, and we're talking in generalities, of course, but let's choose a car, for example. Well, let's take the Volkswagen, your car. Yeah. So when her car was new, so it's a 2003 Jetta, yeah. and it was new, most likely, because she has an automatic transmission, it probably said to do an automatic transmission fluid service at 30,000 miles, yeah. or it might have said 60. You definitely, in LA, want to do it at 30,000 miles, at half that time. Exactly. So that's where we come in, not only as a mechanic, but as a consumer. We can check those fluids, we can see what they look like. Right. And by look and by smell, right. which we'll do later in another seminar, we can show you, we can't, we don't have a sniffer on our screen, yeah. but we can show you with words what we're talking about for smells, we can show you physically oh. what it might look like yeah, if it's dirty or clean. And Becca already caught me because we were doing a demo yesterday on fluids. I thought I was okay on my oil. She took it out, put it on her glove, and showed that it's time for an oil change. But I was going off of the usual, you know, you go to Pet Boys, Jeffy Lube, whatever, they have the sticker they put right. off, and I was like, oh, not time yet. But so that's, that's the difference <laughs> between each person. <laughs> yeah. Like, we're both women, but we both look a little different. And so the same with everybody's driving pattern. Yes. You might be able to drive yeah. 5,000 miles with a synthetic blend oil or, say, 10,000 miles with a fully synthetic oil. Yeah. But you may not, if you're going over the hills, the canyon roads, or yep. if you do a lot of stop and go traffic, yep. you're going to have a little bit darker oil, a little bit dirtier oil. So we want to just yeah. look at it. If we look at it, then we know everything. Awesome. Awesome. Well, that's our first kind of installment here at Girls Garage. We'll do a lot more of these. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with all the happenings here at Girls Garage and here with Rebecca. And if you have questions, please, please ask them. We created this space to make sure that no one felt like any question was a dumb question because yes, there right. are absolutely none. Um, I, for one, am not a professional, but I do have a professional here with me. And we have a lot around here as well. Exactly. Too. So ask those questions. Don't be shy. Um, and we'll see you in the next one.